Today is September 19th, on which we commemorate Theodore of Tarsus, Archbishop of Canterbury. In the 7th century, the English Church was in turmoil. Rome had established its presence with the Episcopal See of Canterbury and had sent missionaries throughout the island. Yet in the north, there still survived a strong and vibrant Celtic Christianity with its own churches, clergy, and customs, predating the pagan invasions and with historically no connection to Rome. The two strains of Christianity were at loggerheads. To make matters worse, plague was devastating the population. To take control of the situation, the Bishop of Rome sent Theodore, a highly educated Eastern monk and native of St. Paul's hometown. Already nearing 70 years old when he was made Archbishop of Canterbury, Theodore set about unifying the Church of England. He called synods and established canon law. He organized the Church, establishing clear diocesan and parochial limits so that the people could be better served by their bishops and priests. He visited churches throughout England, making no distinction between the two different strains and recognizing and regularizing the Celtic clergy. He built a seminary at Canterbury that was so renowned for its excellence that both Celtic and Roman churches sent their future leaders there to be trained. When Theodore died on this day in AD 690, the English church, thanks almost solely to his strong leadership, was unified and firmly established. Let us pray. Almighty God, you called your servant Theodore of Tarsus from Rome to the Sea of Canterbury, and gave him gifts of grace and wisdom to establish unity where there had been division, and order where there had been chaos. Create in your church by the operation of the Holy Spirit such godly union and concord that it may proclaim both by word and example the gospel of the Prince of Peace, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.